bank was formed uh, with a partnership between EcoTrust, it's a large environmental organization here. Shorebank was a double bottom line company. They got started talking about it ought to be a triple bottom line company and incorporate environmental issues in, in banking as well as community development issues and economic issues. Yeah, these are our eco deposits uh, brochures and eco deposits. We are telling our depositors we're going to give them a fair return but at the same time that we are going to do responsible things with their money. Many of these posts are original pieces of wood from this building that were restored. This office where we're in now, you see some of the, the recycled wood products and that's deliberate to give our customers a sense of what we believe in. Yeah, this wood is 100 years old. It came from recycled pickle bats. On the loan side, we are focused on green building. We're focused on sustainable agriculture, alternative energy, responsible real estate development. We have a bank scientist who will go out and talk to our borrowers and a sustainability officer, and they will talk to our borrowers and really assess the conservation output of their business. Salmon Nation was our first branded credit card. There's the Salmon Nation. 50% of the income to the bank goes to uh, support Salmon Nation. This is our newest card. It's called a carbon credit card. Some of the profits from this card go for carbon offsets. This is a map of the state of Washington. We define our territory broadly as Washington, Oregon, and occasionally far northern California. Here on the Washington coast, there's a, a little town here, Iwako, a population of about 1,000. And our uh, headquarters are actually there. We have a large building right there on the port of Iwako. And that is, in many ways, a symbol for what we're trying to do, because we're also focused on building up rural communities. We are very focused on the Oregon and Washington coasts. The history of the bank is there. When the bank was started 10 years ago, many of those areas had been devastated by the downturn in the forestry and fishing industries. And so wood products and fish are a couple of areas that we've supported in really in the sense of trying to help the producers decommodify their products so that they can receive added value for those. We provide a fair rate of return for depositors. We are not typically going to be the highest rate in the country. We're not going to be the internet site that you hit and you get full rate. What we think we're doing is providing full value.